right, you're looking to buy a Western shirt. The number one thing first is what's your budget, and then two is, you know, what are you going to do in it? If it's a church shirt or something like that, you know, a bunch of things that I'm going to recommend might not apply. Um, so keep that in mind. But we'll just go through a few brands, um, some builds, some makes, and different things that I look for in a shirt. So um, one of the varieties that maybe people forget about is wool shirts. Um, definitely in a dress you know, like going to church, going to town, whatever wool makes a lot of sense. If you have the ability to use it as a work shirt, they are super great for that. Um, some brands that I've had really good luck with is Pendleton, Woolrich, um, different ones like that. I mean, a lot of makers, even if they're not des designated wool um, people, they'll they'll make them too. This next shirt, I'm just going to show you. Um, this is a Pendleton shirt. This is a great shirt. Um, some different things on here. One, it's Pearl Snap. Um, we'll talk about pros and cons to Pearl Snap. Um, a really great shirt, nice enough, good looking enough that I actually never work in that. So um, the next one is this rock mount and it's from Denver, Colorado. Um, they actually have another one of these that this of course is a Pearl Snap um, that is a wool shirt and it is super awesome. So I really like that. So maybe if you're looking for a wool shirt, there's a lot of makers that aren't, you know, your prototypical wool um, company. So just keep that in mind. Pearl Snaps, certainly look really good. Um, if you're doing something where you're worried about um, a shirt tearing open, like they will probably protect the actual button, but it will just open up. So they're pretty nice, especially when you're getting dressed early in the morning in the dark, you don't want to have to find stuff. You can just snap them down. There's probably some legend and some you know tradition to that, that I don't know. Um, I certainly like them. I don't necessarily select for them. So um, if you're thinking it has to be Pearl Snap, that is not true. So just keep that in mind. Um, some makers um, that just come to mind is, you know, one would be Cinch. Um, great shirts, whether they're, you know, pattern, not pattern, whatever. The one thing about Cinch, which, you know, you definitely need to try these on. I wouldn't necessarily go straight to, you know, Amazon and start buying stuff or, you know, Shepler's or Murdoch's or whatever. Um, cinches fit bigger. So like if you typically wear um, a large, wear you would order a medium and like, that's no joke. I mean, a large is big and I, maybe they've changed that over time, but that's my experience and kind of the experience of people around me. So especially with cinch, if you're going to remember something, order smaller or go try some on and then you'll find out for sure what fits you. Another great maker is Wrangler. Wrangler makes a million things. For the most part, those are pretty true. I found if anything, they actually fit smaller. So if you wear a large, you kind of float between large, extra large, get the extra large. So that kind of takes me into kind of fit pattern, you know, why, why they're built the way that they are. One, the first thing is fit. So like I am, you know, not built uniquely from anyone else, but my arms usually don't fit well. And by that, I mean, if I extend my arm, my sleeve starts coming up. Okay. And so like, obviously you can get tailored shirts that would fix that problem, but we're, you know, working and we're not going to take a tailored shirt out and do that. So, um, Try them on if you can, and just try to find the medium between too loose and one that fits your arm. So that's something that matters. If you're you know, constricted by your shirt, that's not going to help you at all. Um, and then pattern. I think it's a misnomer in a lot of people's mind that Western shirts, cowboy shirts have to be patterned or have to be, you know, uh, look like a logging shirt. Wear whatever you want. Certainly, if you have a style preference, do it. Um, a lot of the shirts that I wear, just like the one I have on here, zero pattern. So I guess if you've, if you've been taught that your whole life or you think that when you think cowboy Western wear, not necessarily true. Now, cowboys really do have a flair for the dramatic. So you will see all kinds of different, you know, paisley print, checkered print, whatever it is. You know, uh, Pendleton likes to go pretty crazy with traditional um, prints that are pretty fun to see. So don't feel like you're locked in if you love that go crazy. Um, and then lastly, just this one random thing about them is I typically like to have a button on the corner of the collar. And the reason for that is without trying too hard, um, this collar is going to stand up the way it's supposed to and basically stay on my neck and stay on my body. When they don't have that, they'll tend to work down in a way. And so you might find that you have to, you know, take more buttons up or button the top. Um, that's your style, do it. Some of these nicer shirts are made to have an undershirt, so it's no big deal if they kind of wilt away from your neckline. But I personally, for the most part, when I'm using a shirt and it's a working shirt, I like to have just like this one has here, a button that will hold that collar all in frame and nice. And it also helps you if you're not ironing them all the time. This shirt here is a prime example. Without being ironed, this collar is 
like a scarf and it's just going to flop all over the place. If you can afford dry cleaning for every shirt, certainly that would help you. But that's just kind of some of the buying guides that I have. The last one, above all else, it needs to be comfortable. Okay. Like do not think about anything other than what is comfortable. If you're trying to fit into some mold, you're not going to wear it. And that's not the point. So if that means the sleeves are traditionally longer than normal, or you get one that's tall cut because it always comes out of your shirt. It doesn't matter. Whatever's comfortable works the best. So those are kind of my opinions and thoughts on Western shirts. If you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Kelvin channel.